Two brakes. All right, this is the brake bug. Today we're doing a 2015 Tesla P85. It's up. It's called the Black Ace of Spade. I'm trying to get this bucket. Uh, this is the brake bug. We start with all our videos with the car jacked up and tie it off. And if you can't do that much, do not do your own brakes. Just try to get this thing nice and zoomed in. Uh, it's an inserted brake system. So you really don't need much regarding tools. You need something slim like this, a hammer, and a screwdriver. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pop out the old hardware. Whatever one you whatever whatever one you do first, it takes attention off the other one. So just remember that. So I'm just pulling it out, and then it takes attention off the top one. And you can just tap that out as well. Try to go flying like mine's did, I have to go find it, but I'll find it in a second. The second thing you're gonna do is take your screwdriver and pry out your old pad. This is a little tedious, but once you get that price of how much brakes cost at Tesla, you're not gonna mind. Trust and believe. These pads were ordered on Rock Auto. I think we got front and back. For what, 90 bucks? Well, less than 100. Less than, well, less than 100 bucks, and it's a high quality brake pad. I think Tesla wanted. About four to 500 just for pads. Pads four, and rotors over 1200. Yeah, four to 500 just for pads, 1200 for pads and rotors. And that's brake pads with no installation you're looking at. 500. I mean, 500. Just for, that was labor? Labor, yeah. Pads and labor was 500? Yeah. Front and back? Yeah, I want to say yes. What? It was like $1,200. So the old pad is out. This is a new pad. It just inserts right in. Just like that. Right? Not just like that. But just like this. Okay. It inserts right in. Then you take the second pad out. This pad came out a little easier because you can come around the back and you can give it a little push. But I didn't push the piston back. Now it's pushed back. You use your screwdriver, put it between the rotor and the pad, and just pry a little bit just to make sure the pistons are full flush. Because if, if you don't do that, pad ain't going in. you won't be able to get your new pad in. And sometimes it gets a little stuck. Just take a little hammer and give it a little bit of light tap. Don't go hand bone. Just a little bit of light tap, just like that. Okay. You take your pin, beat it from the back, straight through. Is it lining up like Sorry guys. Um, I'm not still... Put the clamp in or you can make I didn't put it in yet. I gotta I gotta get it lined up for oh, no. the pin that pull off the car. Is it in that crease? What does it look like? Look like look like this one right here. So 
sorry about that guys had to get this pin when I hit it it flew off the car and flew under the car take your your pin Take the other pan, put it in, feed it in front of there you go. Okay, there you go. Now you gotta find something and tap the pan into the hole. I just use an adapter and my sled. You're not tapping like a maniac, you're just tapping hard enough. To get this pin to move and it goes inside the hole. So don't go out here banging like you're crazy. Just give it a couple little taps. Just a, just a couple little, couple little taps. Try to get my hand adjusted right. Sometimes I use a socket. And a socket sometimes is better. It's wider. Wider. Wider, wider, wider. Just need something to tap the back of it. Still not. This is perfect. If I don't keep dropping it. I'm gonna tap it, but it goes all the way through. And it locks in place. This is a lefty child. For a lefty, I think, yeah, this is a good, because the other side was easier. Not tapping the rotor. Bottom one, is, bottom one is a little bit more tapping. Just a little tap. There we go. Now come back to the top again. Okay. I usually stick something in there to make sure I'm touching the pan and it's in and it's under tension, it's not moving. All right, then I, I move the rotor back and forth just to make sure nothing's scraping and everything's fine. You're gonna put the wheel back on, start it up, and step on the brake three to five times to make sure you have pressure. Brake bug signing off. I'll see you guys on the next job. Sorry for any uh, delays or anything like that. 
Have a good day.